on this episode of the VR4. What up? Is it good? Not that cold day. <clears throat> I'm on my way to Randy's to work on the caliper to um, spray it all down, get all the dust off of it from me cleaning it all up, putting the anti-rust on there, um, and then uh, painting it purple. So that as well I'm gonna be checking on the wheel well from yesterday me completely doing the wheel well from earlier um, and then I'm going to try to get to the other side take the wheel off and try to get to the suspicious stuff to take that stuff apart so I'm on my way over there now Okay, this wheel well needs to be cleaned. Yeah, look at all that nastiness. All right, let's get the scrubbing. I am starting, it is coming off. See how thick and nasty that is. And I gotta do that all the way around. See this part, this one is not that bad, but it looks all dried up. But I still want to agitate all that and get all that, get all that clean. So that is what I am about to do. I'm gonna be keep just keep scrubbing and scrubbing, and then I will let you guys know when I get done with it, and I'll let you guys see it. So I scrubbed the crap out of the wheel well. Most of it is off. Um, I don't have a sprayer to spray on the degreaser I just been splashing it on there um, I think I need like a, a better brush than these wire brushes the wire brush has been doing the job but it's been going off very slow but most of this grime behind here I'm not gonna worry about but I am gonna scrub this kind of this little loose area right here because that seems like um, the build up and everything is, I guess it's holding or whatnot, or I might just scrub it down just because, but um, either way, all of it's gonna be black anyways, so um, the more protection, the better. So I will cut to when I am, when I have the first, uh, the rust protection on, and I have you guys see that. All right, so I did my first coat of black I have to wait for it to dry and then I will go over it one more time with it again but now I'm going to start on this part right here and get it all shiny and black let's go see how my paint job did that's pretty good dark but hey, at least you guys can see that part that looks pretty solid and pretty clean this one yeah, yeah that looks clean over there too this one I'm not too worried about because wheels go this way and the hell desk gets this way so that one, that's this side's pretty done. So I'm proud of myself for that. Now I gotta work on the other side, and I gotta also work on the caliper and get that prepped for paint. I did my coat of primer. It's looking all good. I made sure I did not touch those right there because. I would have to replace those ones as I've been told and I don't want to do that right now. So I'm going to wait for this to dry and I have to go get some more purple because I don't have any more of that purple that I did for the hood bump and that spoiler right over there. So I got to go get some more purple and then after that later on we're going to be working on the other one and getting that done so I can be able to do the knuckle and all the stuff for that side. So, while that is drying over there, 
I need to measure the seat because I'm going to be getting a new seat. Driver's seat. Oh, this is fucking plain. Okay, so. I'm going to be getting a new seat, so I need to measure the width of how long it is because I believe it is the new seat's 34 width across. So, 34 or 32. But I'm going to measure it just to see how long it is and hopefully it is the right size from there to there it's oh it's not looking good it's looking like Twenty-three at the latest, twenty-two to be safe, twenty-two and a half to be super safe. That's not looking good. Uh, I gotta check the little diagram, or I gotta find a new seat. So yeah, that didn't look good. Well, I gotta check back to see where about my seat and see if I can I have to find another one probably or I gotta yeah I probably gotta find another one all right <clears throat> this is the knuckle I just put the rust anti-rust prevention on to it next will be the paint gloss just did my last coat of the uh, black gloss and it is all done so once it dries take the tape off and I will put some goo gone on the um, part where the bolts go where the mask is masking where it needs to go I'm back I got some more stuff in the mail so let's start with this little one hopefully these are the parts that I need I've been waiting so long to be able to get just the rest of my suspension parts okay so these are so the exhaust hangers um, rubber part we had to hook it up with some what some um, some metal uh, like wire material and that wasn't doing the job so I just went ahead and bought some new ones for both sides even though I just needed one for one side so that's that let's see what this is as the train goes by, this is a tricky box. How do you open this? Mm, tricky boxes. Okay, goes that way, goes that way. Okay. Oh, okay, so this is the, for the radiator, for the thermostat, it shows you the temperature it looked kind of cool. Thought I'd add a nice addition to my engine bay. I'll put that right on with the new oil cap that I have for the, the car. So that's that. Now let's work on. Now let's work on this part. to 96 Dodge front lower left and right control arm ball joints so this is the left and right the ones that were all kinds of messed up finally got them in nice the last one I already know what these are Feel them. I don't know why they need to put them in this little little bag. They're wrapped up real good. Okay. There you go. 
Came all the way from Taiwan. <laughs> Got that. And... tie rods cool so I got those I got those I got that I got these but I don't really need those right now but I'm put those on whatever I got this I don't really need this but I can put that on whenever the last parts that I need to be able to finish off my suspension is my rotors and my brakes and I talked with the people that are supposed to be shipping, shipping them here and they said that they make them right when we make the order they sh make them um, to the model of your car so they said that they will probably do be done this weekend and they're gonna ship them out on Monday so what I have to do is I have to go to the other side of the car take off everything from there get everything painted get everything smoothed out get all new bolts and everything by because it's coming from California, like Canada or California, so it's going to probably take two or three business days. So I'll probably say Wednesday or Thursday. So I have a good couple days to be able to break down the other side of the car, get the suspension parts out of there, and um, I can even start on switching some of the stuff out so I can um, won't have to just switch everything out at the same time. So. The suspension is getting there. I'm getting excited, guys. Tune in next time. I'm going to probably go over to Randy's house and start working on the other side of the wheel well. I, and I have to spray down the wheel well and repaint it. So I have to do that too within these next this weekend and um, within three business days. So we got a lot of work to do, guys. Stay tuned. Tune in next time on the VR4.